Good afternoon. It's January the 4th, 2018. Time to recap today's trading and take a look at tomorrow. Hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations, unlike an actual performance record. Simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they're designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or loss is similar to those shown. Okay, we came in today liking the stock market. Um, our buy zone we'd hope to get long in this 15 area. Before the market opened, you could get long in the 18 area. Very, very strong market. Uh, pointed higher. Uh, no way to get around that. We said we were not interested in getting short until we had a lower high or a retest of the high. And this was a legitimate short right there. This one, you could take this one too, based on that selling right there. But this is profit taking. Leg one and leg two is the, the leg that you need to try to get in on. So retest failure. Buy, 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 buy. All small winners. Small winners, mean green trade, small winner. Looks like we're going to head out. We said a couple hours ago maybe it closed at 27.25. Uh, right in there, and that looks like that can still be the case. F1 will show buying. <clears throat> F2 will show buying. Looking for a place to get long. Volume and time are matched. What I mean by that, the Balance point, point of control, volume point of control, VPOC, uh, are one and the same. Definitely a P. So we're like we're where we were. Uh, sell failure to take out 2931. 3436, sell two. On the buy side, um, maybe gets a little selling tomorrow before the. Uh, Non-farm payroll numbers, 22 to 24 by one. Um, 18 to 20 by two. Lots of news tomorrow. Non-farm payroll, 191. Unemployment, 4.1. Be looking at the manufacturing jobs, uh, calling for 15K. Compensation up three tenths. Work week 34.5. We see it jumping to 34.6. That's another indicator of economic strength. Uh, international trade minus 50 BC, minus 50 B. Factory orders plus 1.1. And ISM services 57.6 could come in higher than forecast. The focus will be uh, non-farm payrolls, unemployment, then it'll jump to factory orders and ISM services right here. So we, uh, we have a chance for a pretty good market tomorrow. Long article um, this morning on uh, Bloomberg, I believe it was, um, why the broad market uh, volatility uh, was so low. And they tied it to extremely high volatility in the underlying issues. You have a lot of volatility in sector rotation and specific issues, and that rotates through the market. And you've got high volatility with the stocks, but because it's rotating through, Traders are focused on a couple of issues, increase the volatility there. The rest of the market is dead, so the broad, broad market stays very, very quiet. Makes sense. I mean, nobody, nobody's really interested in selling this market. Uh, we are headed higher. Lower high, lower low on the note. Find a place to sell it.
have two distributions. Uh, the first one was down. It fit the idea. We wanted to get short first to see if we could bust support. We did break support, but the bottom did not fall out of the market. We were not able to take out 12, so we had a 13 to 17 buy uh, this morning, and the low happens to be 13 and a half, so we caught that pretty well. Uh, we had hoped to sell 23s to 27s. The high was 22 and a half, so we got pretty close. All things considered, um, selling 23 to 27 without news. Tomorrow's a news day trade. 31 to 03 for sell two. On the uh, buy side, 13 to 17 buy one. Five to nine buy two. For those of you who are new, we do our analysis the same way every day. We look at the same stuff over time. It will become read-only memory. It'll change from RAM to read-only. It'll be burned in. And if you do stuff the same way, day in and day out, it's kind of like meditating. Uh, over time, you'll develop new insights into the market. It's a template that works. It will deliver for you over time. Okay, uh, 12 to 16 resistance. We thought an hour before the close, um, the market might close at 7, plus or minus. Uh, went out at 10. Number one resistance, 12 to 16, selling 19s to 23s, sell 1. Sell 27s to 31, sell 2. On the buy side, the buck to 04 is number 1. 25, 29, buy 1. 17, 21, buy 2. Treasuries were a bit stronger today than you would anticipate given the strength in the E-mini. Wonders never cease. Always the same, always a little bit different. That's what keeps it interesting. How can you tell when you're getting bored with it or things go stale? You'll have a, uh, not a terminal case of the blahs, but you'll lose interest in the market, and that's time to take a couple of days off and recharge your batteries. Looking at gold, outside day, uh, 25 obviously is pretty good resistance, market number. Best resistance is going to be in this 2728 area. The F1 screen is an outside day. F2 screen, pretty good buying. Have a strong rally up here. That's our 2728. So maybe a little higher in London. Sell 28s to 30s. 34, 36. Sell two. It's a Newsday trade. 20 to 22 by 1, 15 to 17 by 2. The dynamics of the market, <coughs> there is so much hot money floating around there looking for a place to go, looking for yield looking for anything. And three of the uh, cryptocurrency companies now have are in the top ten as far as market valuation goes. That's unreal. But it just shows you how much money is out there that can be thrown at the market. And if there's more demand than supply, uh, prices go up. Very, very simple analysis for a futures or commodity trader to make. Very, very easy uh, conclusions to be drawn by this community. Tepper had an article out saying it looks like just like it did at the beginning of 2017. Cheap on a relative basis. He did not talk about all the excess money out there that has to go someplace. Crude oil. Uh, we got to 62 uh, today. Uh, 62.50 is resistance. We bust through 62.50. 65 would be the next stop. 
and on that spill from a hundred bucks there was a lot of selling when the market was correcting in that 65 67 area that was some three years ago well, right now the uh, 65 67 areas where I would guess the best resistance is and we'll see if that actually happens uh, F1 screen says find a place to buy crude well, I got in time fly could you you know God, crude oil 60 62 bucks it's been three years since we've been there would you have guessed it been that long I wouldn't off the top of my head but Einstein is right time is relative and it accelerates as you get older um, 62 even 62 and a quarter sell one uh, crude oil will be the least affected by tomorrow's numbers sell two 50 to 75 on the uh, buy side 61.50 61.75 pretty much where we were this morning buy one and buy two 61 even 61 and a quarter so we caught the both sides of the crude market with our analysis uh, well this morning and what you want to do is that when you start to be able to make these calls and you start to see that yeah I am saying sideways and I'm getting a bracketed market I am saying the potential of trend and I'm getting a trending market uh, then you see that your levels start to work start to manifest themselves and you are getting pretty close to where you want to be then you have to learn how to trade that information that's the next step and that's harder to do than you think it would be Yeah, you go through that little period of time where you know too much or you know enough to be uh, very very cautious um, higher low higher high on the euro um, dollar weakness is driving the market uh, 2150 2150 didn't quite make it so 40 to 50 would be one area so 21 50 yeah higher low higher high find a place to buy it go to the F2 screen so I can read it between the uh, compression and the rest of it I uh, now 40 to 50 looks the same so I want basically 2150 and 2170 to 80 sell two that'd be new highs that's pretty bold uh, basically leaning against resistance uh, 121 even 121.10 buy one and then 2075 2085 buy two newsday trade tomorrow the euro will be greatly affected too we'll talk about newsday trades in the morning And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some newsday trading off tomorrow. We try to get one off in the bond and the E-mini simultaneously. Uh, we got to move pretty quickly to do that. Sometimes we can get it done. Sometimes we can't. You all have a great evening. I will see you bright and early in the morning.